Welcome back, this is Mr. Phil first for my let's play. That's <laughs> worse. And we've got uh, Eve here speaking to Morden. Morden doing his thing as usual. Well, let's keep what undoing what we were doing. Speaking to Miss Bekara here, or whatever her Something name is. Something else, Commander? Of course. We need to explore the left wing. There we go. I the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. Notice how her, how her clothes look good. This is a mode again. Mud, I mean, not mode. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'll bite. How did you become a shaman? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. Brutal. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands. Or you die. Yeah, brutal. It's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. I guess you do. That's one way to see it. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal. But it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Oh, great. I get your chisel. What am I going to do with it? What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. The Krogan, in a way, remind me of the dwarf people in Dragon Age. They always warring, they're always warring one against the other, and it's like always trouble. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Yeah, they're stupid. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that, you can tell him. Huh, <laughs> that'll ma probably make him proud or something like that. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. Yeah, me too. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Yeah, well, he will have to because I don't want another war against the Krogan. You guys just have kids way too fast for us. Okay, so what about the Genophage? If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? Oh, I, I don't want to know. who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? <laughs> yes. After my first stillborn. Oh, that's that's brutal too. And yeah. What kept that? you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. So your vampire the age forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. Oh, there you and go. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. Oh, well. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Yeah, I wouldn't come with that. will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. 
excuses to earn them honor. So, are you saying that they wouldn't be like that if it if it wasn't for the genophage? I don't think so. You don't become a wandering critter just like that. Thanks for talking to me. Oh well. It's my pleasure, Commander. But it is quite fortunate that we saved Rex. Otherwise, I wouldn't count on the Krogan's on the Krogan's goodwill to survive with us or live with us, whatever. When we deal with the Reaper threat, because we will. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Yeah, Valence probably. data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Oh, I had a feeling this might come in, come in handy. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Progan support. Progan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Oh yeah, that's it. That's all Nothing you can else. See. No personal stake here. Huh. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Yeah, what about the guy that created the genophage in the first place? I guess he's just dead, but you know, it's not just your fault. And uh, what about Eve? Uh, what do you think about her? How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. Alright, so what, you care about her? You care about her. My patient, my responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. A bit stupid. She said, please. Kind of remind me uh, how I dealt with Grunt in the first place. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would sure be much did. harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So, if you were to play the Malin mission and had killed Rex in a previous playthrough, one of the things you could do is not get Malin's research, and then you'd be able to do some kind of cross against Reeve which is Rex's brother and which is a psychopath or I'm not sure if you save the data well probably E will survive and I don't know what's gonna happen with your Krogan, Krogan support but I can tell you this if you betray Rex and well Eve if you betray both of them well shit's gonna happen that's for sure any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. Well, what if you might? Would you kill him? So the end justifies the means. Not my means. Oh, uh, playing with but him. You're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Oh my. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Yeah, that that that's okay. That's more like what I wanted to speak to you about. That you're okay with that didn't mean that I was gonna be all bashful about him. So feelings about data, we spoke about that in Krogan immunity. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. Krogan are a real wonder of nature. It's like you crush a heart of theirs, and they have another one. They, they literally can die 
except in the game of course they're super easy to kill but I'd hate to face a real life Krogan that that would be very bad so can you use to make this work for all Krogan yes we'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen alter gland function across entire species oh great must improve mutagen as well tune hormone production long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise yeah tune that all right I'll let you work and sing in whatever nice talking with you Morden thank you Shepard glad to be back you planning to stick around when this is over until Reapers dealt with at least then not sure have made impact on galaxy Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. Uh-huh. You go crazy inside an hour. Yeah. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> yeah, I might see you. Uh, I see you running tests on the seashells. I'm Vivian A. So he's some kind of frog. All right, let's go see what Garrus down there has to say. Oh, nice! I want a fridge like that. I have to buy one soon enough. And oh, look at this! You can't put guns in the fridge. Nor, well, I don't know what this sign means, but you can't put it in the fridge. I think I've said it before, but it's too bad Rupert is gone. Who's cooking now, James? I don't want to eat eggs all the time. Ha, <laughs> eggs. You'll see what I mean later. How about you, Gears? Anything to say? Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with skulls. Uh-huh, they do. So I've heard. <laughs> I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to some I am. Steel. <laughs> Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. Oh yeah, there's a thing and there. Now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. Yeah. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. In some ways, she looks like you, Garrus. You should. I should set this up for you guys. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now. Indeed. Huh? As if man is a f sneaky bastard. I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Now you've really got a thing for her. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Yeah, let's hope he doesn't get into too much trouble himself. Don't we? Maybe later. Or shan't we? <laughs> Maybe later, eh? Got some calibrations to do in there. Let's do them, buddy. will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Huh. you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. Uh-huh. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Yeah, not sure what to do with this. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Hey, I'm your girlfriend here. Shouldn't shouldn't treat me like that. Okay, Professor Teikisha to Dr. Dr. Ojiol. Teikisha looks like a pop singer and Ojiol like a kind of medication. So I was calling every supply depot station around the crucible to find enough pure platinum for the crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough to left uh we barely had enough left to go to the cuff maker. An hour later, a ship pulled out with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later, saying the broker would stay in touch with her needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. Uh, well, do whatever you want. Seems like you're already bugged out, because I got this email from you. You probably have a Trojan or something. Okay, so this advanced amp is sophisticated with biofeedback systems that interfaces with a set of armor micro micro microcomputers. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
I always pronounce my eyes incorrectly due to my French uh, background. Yeah. So the M can be set to help streamline the use of biotic skills and combat powers or increase their damage instead. So I think um oh yeah that's a big choice. I think I'm gonna go for damage this time. Or cooldown? Cooldown means I could have more weapons equipped or heavier weapons. So let's let's go with this. Recharge speed. All right. So for powers, for powers, I go for uh, cooldown, and for weapons, I'll go for damage. Mainly, that's the plan here. Stick to the plan. Let's see what they have to say. No, nothing more. Hello, commander. Okay. Well, screw you too. Uh, what about um? Uniform, I don't know. Should I? Where am I gonna head next? Thinking. So we've seen Rex. What about? Cause I I don't want to wear the terminus armor. No, maybe. Recon hood. That's damage. Weapon damage. What about this? Weapon damage again? So this is pretty much useless since I have this shit here. Maybe shield plus health? So let's go with shield, uh, health. Yeah, let's just wear our N7 thing. And the secret hell helmet. And now we'll just change the colors a bit. Um, so who did we see earlier? Because I just want to look like... I don't know, aligns, colors... No... Nope. That's that's not too bad. I don't know about this pattern or whatever. Maybe no pattern? Yeah, the, this looks a bit better, actually. Let's go for right blue. No. This. No lights? What about no lights? Yeah, this looks good. Maybe if they were white? No. We'll just keep it that way. Some more health. Okay, been there. I think we spoke to everyone in the CIC. Speak to her again. Commander. Okay. I'm gonna hand I'm gonna end it right here. And I'm gonna come back soon. Alright. So until next time, take it easy.